Hi, I'm Dana Brooks of Facing Brooks, and I'm continuing to talk to you about alternative dispute resolution techniques. Um, one of them we've talked about before was mediation. That's where every case that gets filed in any pretty much any courtroom is going to get sent to mediation, so the parties can try to walk, work out a dispute that uh, a resolution for their dispute that they can live with. Another opportunity is something called arbitration. To, you have to pretty much agree to arbitration and a lot of people agree to arbitration and don't realize it. It could be an agreement you signed uh, when you bought your cell phone or got your credit card or uh, it could be an employment, a provision of an employment complex, uh, contract. It could be a provision of just uh, treating with a particular doctor. A lot of people require you to forego your rights to file a lawsuit in a uh, county circuit court uh, where you would ultimately have the opportunity for a jury trial. You forfeit that and you agree uh, in order to do business with them that you will submit any disputes between you to arbitration. And those uh, contracts are favored, so you don't get to pick which one turns out better for you. Once you're committed to that, that's what you're going to have to do. And typically you present your case, you can have counsel, you can have a lawyer represent you, but the rules are different and the arbitrator gets to decide how much discovery, meaning how much of uh, the other side's information you get to know, uh, how far you can go to depositions, how many depositions you can have. It could really limit your ability compared to what you could do if you could stay in a, a courtroom environment, a county or circuit court. So it does hamstring you. The offside, the, the, the promotional offside is supposed to be that it, uh, your case is resolved faster, the outcomes are supposed to be similar to what would happen if you spent two to three years litigating the case and went before a judge or a jury. So it's favored. So just remember when you sign that, you are waiving certain rights that you have now. Um, and you have to, a lot of people don't think arbitration favors the little guy. It seems like it would favor the moneyed interest, the bigger power, because they have many cases to arbitrate, and this is probably just your one case. So um, there's not a lot of appellate options if you have a bad outcome at arbitration. Uh, you can't run it up, you know, the courthouse now and see if you get a better outcome there. You're pretty much stuck with it. So before you sign any kind of contract, uh, before you think you can just sue every time something goes wrong, uh, that's not always true. So that's why it's important to contact an attorney, contact lawyers like us, and see if you have any rights and if you waived your rights. If you haven't, then see how limited they are and what someone might be able to help you with. But that's why it's good to just call an attorney anytime, and you know you can call us anytime, 222-3232. Thanks.